Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining Pepe coin using your Windows 10 or 11 base computer here in 2025 in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn more and keep more of the Pepe coin you are mining with discount codes for your pool mining fee. And before we dive in, if you could make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Bitcoin Tips, it really does help out the channel. And if you're looking to support us even further, we do have those channel memberships if you're interested in taking a look. Any support is greatly appreciated. So, Before diving into the video, I do like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a quick look at what's going on in the crypto markets as a point of reference if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if you aren't interested in this portion of the video, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the tutorial then. But overall, as you can see, crypto's down, uh, down to a total market cap of $3.33 trillion, which is down about 1.8% over the last 24 hours. Um, we do have a little bit of green sprinkled in on the uh, seven day chart, but overall the day chart is looking a little red, uh, especially for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance, Solana, Doge, uh, Cardano, you know, Tron, all of the kind of top 10, you know, of course, excluding uh, XRP here is red. Now, I don't think this is anything to be too concerned about. Of course, there's tons of stuff going on in the world every day that can affect the crypto prices. But of course, the big thing, the Bitcoin halving happened back in May of 2024. And of course, that always kicks off a bull run. So I think we are just getting started for new all-time highs across the board for lots of these coins. Um, and of course, taking a closer look at Pepe coin here, placed in number 25 on CoinMarketCap at the time of recording, total market cap of $7.5 billion, almost 7.6, uh, currently four zeros, and then it's uh, 18.04 for the price. But if we take a quick look here, uh, of course, that's down almost 4% today. But looking at their all-time high here, just a few short weeks ago, December, you know, early December 2024, this coin was uh, four zeros and then two six four zeros. So there is a lot of price, uh, you know, to be gained back there. And of course, that's profits on coins you're holding right now. Um, and then, of course, as the bull run continues, a lot of people think this coin can really get much higher than that. So, how do you go about mining this coin to build your holdings now while the price is lower? Well, we are going to be using a site here called Unminable. Now, you might be thinking you can't really mine Pepe coin. How are we going to mine this? And it's through the site here called Unminable. Uh, probably, as you guessed, it's a site that allows you to mine coins that are not mineable. Uh, it's pretty simple, um, but what you're basically doing is you're going to pick an algorithm that's profitable for your hardware. In the video, I'm going to use the Kapow algorithm, but I do recommend going out to whattomine.com, entering your specific hardware, and it'll tell you the best algorithm to use. What they do is they then mine using that algorithm uh, and the coin that is most profitable for that algorithm. So you're not actually mining Pepe, but you will be getting paid out in Pepe. They do the conversion on the back end and send it right to your wallet. So it's pretty cool there. But to follow along, the link is down below. And again, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you use that link, you're actually going to get a 25% discount on your pool mining fee, which I'll talk about in just a second. But once you're on the site here, go ahead and select get started with our wizard. You'll have two options, basic and advanced. I always recommend basic since that's good for 99% of people, but advanced is there if you're interested. The next option is GPU or CPU mining. Now I'm gonna be going the GPU route in this video, but if you are following along on a Windows computer that just has a CPU, or you're looking to mine on a Mac-based computer, uh, go ahead and choose that CPU option. I do have a full tutorial on the channel for mining on Mac uh, that I would recommend checking out if you're going that route. Here's where you choose that algorithm. Like I said, I'm going to go with Kapow, but choose what's best for your hardware. And here's where you choose the coin you want to get paid out in. They do have around 90 different coins here on the site, but of course we are looking at Pepe. 
this is where you'll enter in the wallet address of the uh, wallet you want to get paid to. Make sure this is compatible with Pepe. As you can see, it does pop up and say, hey, it looks like you're good for Ethereum networks. But you can see if I delete that one and replace it with a two, I still get that same message, but we all know I will not get this payment since that's no longer my address. So don't just trust this. Make sure you get the right address pasted in there because everything will work as expected until you go to get paid and then you actually just won't get paid and I'd hate to see that happen if you've been mining so once you do that you can go ahead and say next and the final thing here is the referral code now if you use the link down below you will notice my Bitcoin tips referral code auto populated like you saw here on screen but if you use this code uh, and that link down below, you will actually save 25% on your pool mining fee. If you didn't use the link and still want that discount, go ahead and type in the code. It's Bitcoin-Tips, capital B, capital T. This will reduce the 1% pool mining fee down to 0.75%. So basically every 100 Pepe coin you mine with that full 1% fee, one of those coins would go to unminable, regardless of if you mined it in a day or in a year and you know regardless of the price so using that code saving those coins helps you build your holdings faster so feel free to use that or continue without it and the final step here is downloading all the files and getting started so this is where it gets exciting now i always recommend gminer as it supports both major gpu manufacturers and it's the miner that i personally use for mining and i've used it for a long time and had very little issues with it. Um, not to say that any of these other ones are bad, but this is just the one that I prefer to use. So what you're gonna do is select download minor files. This will take you to GitHub where you just download this Windows 64 zip file. Download this and extract it. Now, if you don't do the extraction step, this will not work. So if you get an error right away when we go to start the miner, that could be why. So make sure you don't miss that step. Once you've got everything downloaded and extracted, come back over here to unminable and click this blue download.bat file button. Now you'll notice that Windows calls this out and says, hey, uh, this is an unverified file. Are you sure you want to download? You will have to select this warning and say download unverified file if you want to continue. Unfortunately, there is no workaround here. So if you are not comfortable doing this, simply select delete from history. Unfortunately, there is not a workaround. But if you are okay with that, go ahead and download it. And then all you have to do is drag and drop this file into the folder with all of the other files that you just extracted from GitHub. As you can see here, I have unminable, pepe, kapow, gminer.bat. At this point, you are ready to get started mining. And to do that, you just have to double click this .bat file. As you can see, there's another pop-up here from Windows saying, hey, we've protected your PC. Uh, again, if you want to continue with this, you will have to select more info and run anyway. Again, there is no workaround for this. Good news is you'll only get this pop-up the first time you run the program, but if you're not comfortable with it, again, simply say don't run. If you are comfortable with it, go ahead and say run anyway. And as you can see, just like that, we are up and running mining Pepe coin using my RTX 3070 here in 2025. We're about eight minutes and 15 seconds into the video. So you can see how quickly you can really go through this step and get up and running mining. That included a little bit of coin market cap and, uh, you know, of course, just talking through the uh, tutorial. So this is really a less than five minute um, you know, process to get started mining. Now, just a few final notes before we close out the video today. When you start mining here, it does take about 15 to 30 minutes for the stats and payments to start showing up on the website. That is completely normal. And if you don't see anything after about an hour, I would double check that you got your addresses pasted in correctly, both in the file and on the website. Um, and then just take a look at the CMD window here. Uh, you want it to look fairly similar to this. No red text, no errors. Uh, and if it looks like that, then everything is looking good. So if you're still running into issues, feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. And on the other side, when you are ready to be done mining, all you have to do is find this CMD window and hit the red X. Now you might be thinking, why am I telling you how to close a window? That should be the easy part. Well, 
it is easy. The reason I like to call it out is because with unminable uh, and mining, you may actually continue seeing stats and even payments on the website for up to 12 hours after stopping the miner. So I've seen the question before of, hey, you know, I closed this window, but it seems like I'm still getting paid. Is not mining in the background? As long as that window is fully closed out, you can, you know, rest assured that you are no longer mining uh, whatever coin, in this case, Pepe, that you were mining before. So I've personally seen it where I've turned off the miner, turned off the computer, unplugged the computer from the wall, and was still getting paid the next morning when the computer was unplugged. So it's a little weird, but I wouldn't complain too much because, hey, you're still getting those payments. So with that being said, if you do run into any issues throughout this entire process, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. And if you haven't already, consider hitting that like button and subscribing to Bitcoin Tips to stay up to date on all things crypto. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.